hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to pass variables from one page to another page using local storage with JavaScript and here we got a new output the text box and button control now I'm entering the values Peter click see in the page 2 we got the welcome Peter let's check James see here we got the James that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I'm using notepad plus plus for this video tutorial notice in this notepad plus plus contains a simple HTML code with some headed access h1 and h2 and horizontal line now my aim is I want to pass variables from this page from page 1 to page 2 using local storage with JavaScript let's add the text box control and button control after the horizontal line I'm adding input type is equals to text and ID is equals to txt I'm closing the text box control and the button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to click I'm closing the button control so after adding the controls now in the header section I'm adding script tag I'm closing the script now inside the script I'm adding the JavaScript function function Pass values is a function name now in this function I'm declaring a variable first name is equals to the first name variable we're getting the values from the text box control document dot get element by ID between double quotes I'm adding the text box ID dot value after that I'm using local storage to save the data local storage s capital dot set item the set item takes two parameters first parameter is the, the key value the key value I'm adding text value comma and the second parameter is a text box value first name return false that's it we have written the JavaScript function now let's call this function when I click the button control so on click is equals to the function name is pass values after this one paste here after that we require to redirect the page from page 1 to page 2 so for that I'm adding the form tag I'm closing the form tag in this form tag I'm adding action is equals to between double quotes I'm adding the page 2 URL page 2 hyphen JavaScript J capital hyphen local storage dot str that's it we have done the coding part in page 1 let's save this file once we click the button control the text box values I want to display in this page too now in the body I'm adding welcome span tag id is equal to the result I'm closing the span tag script 
I'm closing the script. Now, now inside the script, I want to display the text box value in this pan ID. So document dot get element by ID between double quotes. I'm adding the span ID which is result dot inner html is equals to the values we are getting from the local storage we have saved the text box value in the local storage so let's copy that one paste here dot get item the get item function takes a parameter the key value text value from the set item function That's it, we have done the complete coding part. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got a new output, the text box and button control. Now I'm entering the values, Peter. Click, see in the page two, we got the welcome Peter. Let's check. James. See here we got the James. That's it.